Hi everybody, this is just a quick technical video. Reen asked, how do I set up floating divisions? So I've never actually used the floating divisions. I've always, or at least for a long time, had three manuals and that's been enough. So say on the four manual sample sets, rather than directly map one keyboard to, say for example, the choir and the solo, I map it to the choir and then I just use the solo coupler and I can use choir unison off to turn that and I can save all that in the sequencer. So that's how I do it. However, if you really want to get into floating divisions, let me show you. I went to the manual to figure this out. Here's Hauptwerk and we're using the Saint Anne set. Uh, the first thing I will say is that in order to map the floating divisions, uh, you need to undo any auto detecting you've done and kind of start from scratch. So let's using Saint Anne's right click on each manual and clear all MIDI trigger settings for keyboard swell. Do the same for great. Now the floating divisions in between the auto detect, so it inserts a layer. So let me show you how to get to it. There are two components to it. The first view menu, large floating control panel and floating divisions. And just put that somewhere where you can see it. And then for each organ that you're going to do this, you have to do this one by one for each organ, go to organ settings, advanced MIDI applications, floating division MIDI keyboards for this organ only. Okay, so what we have here, the floating MIDI divisions, this is where you connect your real keyboards. And Hauptwerk provides five floating divisions. Um, and then these five floating divisions can be on the fly mapped to any part of the virtual organ. So as I work through an example here, it will make some sense. But basically, this keyboard is one division. So I'm going to use this as floating division one keyboard. I'm going to auto detect on this screen, hit my two notes. And now I can verify with the little green dot here that that is now mapped to floating division one keyboard. Okay, um, you may want to do this with your swell and your grate, for example, or maybe just one. Uh, so whichever keyboard's going to hop around, you map that to the floating division keyboard in this screen. Click OK. Now, over on this floating divisions thing, this is kind of the master controller. And it looks a little crazy initially, but once again, you have one, two, three, four, five. You have five floating divisions, and each division has four roots. It can be plugged into four separate things. Where do we find those things? Now we right click on the grate and instead of auto detect here, we go to adjust MIDI trigger settings manually. And here under input here, you're going to do this manually, click input and look what we have here. Floating division one, root one, two, three, four, floating division two, root one, two, three, four, and so on. So I'm going to put the, the grate to floating division one, root one. I'm going to put the swell to floating division one, root two. And I'm going to put the pedal to floating division one, root three. This is a little silly, but just to give you an idea. So now when I click OK, and also notice down here under division one, it currently says grate. When I click two, it goes swell. When I click three, it goes pedal. Uh, so now, while I'm playing... And of course, these are the pistons that you would map. So this screen is where you map your real keyboard to these virtual keyboards. And then over on Hauptwerk's screen, we have to adjust manually. And instead of auto-detecting, we pick the virtual division, one through five, and the route, one through four. Hopefully that makes sense. Good luck.